I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a trigonometric equation which has come from one of my subscribers. Let me thank him for contributing positively towards my YouTube channel. I hope the solution of this will benefit many others. The equation here is to solve trigonometric equation 1 over square root 3 sine of 3x minus pi by 2 equal to minus half where x belongs to closed interval minus pi by 6 to 2 pi by 3. Now there could be many ways of solving however here is a shortcut method which you could apply to similar questions if asked in multiple choice. You know we could ask for number of roots for this equation for example. Okay, uh, let us first understand our equation. When we write 1 over square root 3 sine of something equal to minus half, we can rewrite this as sine of 3x minus pi by 2 equal to minus square root 3 over 2. Now, strictly speaking, I should factor this 3 out so that I know exactly what my transformations are. Factoring 3, we get x minus pi by 6 equal to minus square root 3 by 2. Now, let's look into this particular function. Now, when I say that the value is sine 3 x minus pi by 6, in that case, what is the time period? Now for this equation, we'll know that time period is 2 pi by 3, right? And it moves pi by 6 unit right. That is the horizontal translation. What I'm trying to say here is that if I sketch this graph, it may look kind of like this. Let me sketch it here. So I'm just drawing a sine function, right? So Okay, so let me draw some waves here. Okay. Uh, so this will have a coordinate axis. It's not moving. Uh, okay, so let's draw this as x-axis. So let me sketch sine 3x. So when I say sine 3x, it will start with... Okay, let's take this point. Going up. Okay, from here. So, if I say that this graph is of uh, sine 3x, note I'm not looking into translation of pi by 6, sine 3x, then in that case, one particular period will be 2 pi by 3. So, this is 2 pi by 3, correct? Now, uh, this will be how much? Pi by 3, right? Half. And that will be pi by 6. So let's get an idea where we are. We are given domain of minus pi by 6. Minus pi by 6. Correct. So this is the sketch of the function sine 3x. Now what is sine 3 within bracket x minus pi by 6? That means each point moves minus pi by 6 to the right. Correct. So what really happens is that this point, pi by 6 is like quarter of a cycle here, right? So uh, we'll move just one cycle, each point, pi by 6 to the right. So here we'll get the minimum, right? So maximum being maintained, minimum being maintained. So what is happening here is that all the points are moving pi by 6 unit to the right. So the graph which you get for the function sine 3 x minus pi by 6 uh, will look like what? Will look like this maximum comes here, right? So, so we have these points to connect. So that point, uh, so this is, this is right here and that point comes here. So, so we have this point kind of a point right 
So what we have here is that a function which has been shifted pi by 6 to the right. Kind of like this. Okay, so uh, uh, this unit comes here. So we have this unit comes here. So, so that is how the function will look like. Correct. So the function in red is basically sine of 3 x minus pi by 6. Correct. That is the function. Now, when I say that we are looking for a solution, which is all this equal to minus something, that means we are looking for a value, which is kind of like this. And within the given interval of minus pi by 6, that is the interval is from here to 2 pi by 3, which is the first wave here. So that becomes the interval right so which is from minus pi by 6 to 2 pi by 3 now i'm sketching all this to make you understand that what should we expect as our solution so from here the red curve is the final curve perfect and this line represents minus square root 3 over 2 so the points of intersection within this given interval are these three do you see that part? So what we expect is three solutions in the given interval. Do you understand? In this given interval. Perfect. So we have to find these three solutions. So sometimes it is only to find number of solutions. So that is straight. Now let's solve. Minus square root 3 over 2 really means that we are looking for solution in quadrant 3 and 4. Perfect. So, so that gives you one solution. And since this gives you an idea as to what real solution should be, so this is for sine of what value will be minus 3 pi by 2. It is 4 pi by 3, correct? And since the interval is given like this, we'll look into the other two values as the ones on the left side. Perfect. So this is one, which is minus pi by 3. The other one is here, which is minus 2 pi by 3. Do you see that? So these are the three points which are our solution for minus 3 pi by 2. <coughs> Do you get the idea? So all this explanation was only to tell you how easily we can actually come to this conclusion. Perfect. So these are the three solutions. Now we can write that 3 times x minus pi by 6 is equal to minus 2 pi by 3. Or we could write 3 times x minus pi by 6 equals to minus pi by 3 or 3 times x minus pi by 6 is equal to 4 pi by 3. Now we need to solve for x to get the right answer. So I hope this step is clear. It's very, I mean, slightly complicated. Okay, so now let's isolate x. So we could get x minus pi by 6 equals to minus 2 pi by 3 times 3, right, which is 9, and that gives you x equals to minus 2 pi by 9 plus pi by 6, right? Now you could take 18 as your common denominator. So multiplying by 2, we get minus 4 pi, and here by 3, we get plus 3 pi. So one of the solutions is minus pi by 18. Let's solve here. We get x minus pi by 6 equals to minus pi by 9. So x equals to minus pi by 9 plus pi by 6. Again, 18 is the common denominator. So minus 2 pi plus 3 pi. So that gives you pi by 18 as the second solution. 
And the third one here is x minus pi by 6 equals to 4 pi by 3. I mean, divide by 3 is 9. So x equals to 4 pi by 9 plus pi by 6. Now 18, you get 8 pi minus 3 pi. I mean, plus. So 11 pi by 18. So these are the three solutions in the given interval. Do you understand that part, right? So it's kind of tricky, but that's what is probably the best way of solving, right? So we get three answers. So our answers are minus pi by 18, pi by 18, and 11 pi by 18. So let's go back to this. So what we did was we tried to analyze how many solutions will be there? And then we simply used our special triangle. You know, when I say we are looking for square root of 3 over 2, we know what our special triangle is. Is uh, pi by 3, pi by 6 triangle, correct? Where this side is square root 3, this is 2, this is 1. And since it is negative, we are expecting in quadrant 3 and 4, the solution as shown here. And those are the three possible angles within the given domain. And you'll notice that all these three values are within this domain. Perfect. So that is how you could solve it. Now this is a simple solution. I'll provide you with a link which will give you, I mean, more elaborate uh, type of solution for the same question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. Uh, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best. <laughs>